So Paul, we are uh, we're gonna be just walking around today. We're gonna go look at some uh, waterfalls, some outdoor stuff. We're gonna be going to Gooseberry Falls, which Gooseberry you've never Falls. been to. Yeah. Uh, we're also going to be going to the Split Rock Right House. Ugh. We're going to be going to the Split House Light Split House Split Rock. Split Rock. Rock. We're going to the Split Rock Lighthouse. Uh, sun's getting low. We had a little bit of a late start today. It's been kind of an interesting weekend. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we didn't film much, but yeah. So you guys came up from Florida, surprised me. Surprised you? Uh, made a few trips to the ER. Yeah, uh, the, the day you came, the day he got here, I actually had to go to the emergency room or the urgent care because I had like an issue with my toe. And then the next day, his wife got a little sick and she ended up going to the urgent care. Um, we had a flat tire moment. It's been a weird weekend, so <laughs> we're going to make the most of the last couple hours of sunlight we have left up in two harbors and uh, just go take some photos and some video. So let's go check it out. So we spent a little bit of time here at Gooseberry Falls, not enough time. Uh, if you guys ever make a trip out to Two Harbors, Minnesota or North Shore, especially in the fall, you're going to want to get out here super early because it's crowded. Uh, it's crowded. There's lots to go to. Everything's far apart. It's a lot of hiking and the sun sets early in this area. Uh, and not even, even if it doesn't set at the right, it, like it says today, it's setting at seven, but really it's four o'clock and right now the, the sun's about to go under the hill. So we're gonna lose like a lot of light in the next like 30 minutes to an hour. So we are gonna head over to the Split Rock Lighthouse and we're gonna go check that out. Maybe get some good photos. Um, I think I'm gonna do a photo shoot today with this camera to showcase how good the photos look on the A7S III. Um, yeah, they're good. As long as you're not like you know, zooming in 400%, I think these photos are gonna look awesome on any anything, so. When we wake. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We got our parking pass so this time I don't get a ticket Okay oh, Head around back to the car because Face mask Face masks are required in this area So the start with this lighthouse is in like 1906 I think or something like that there was a, a tons of crashes and storms on the Two Harbors area and these ships were like running to shore so they had to build this lighthouse to get ships to stop running into the shore. This lighthouse right here and uh, this one right here? yep that, that one right here. This one? There's one? Okay. So the thing is is that at this time at back in 1900s this place was pretty inaccessible so they had to like build all the roads to get here they had to like crane half this thing up the cliff side uh, and there was a pretty big feat to get this thing here um, this was back before the Edmund Fitzgerald crash but they were just losing all these uh, shipping ships that were shipping like iron ore were crashing in big storms so they had to do something so this is I think one of the oldest lighthouses in America if I remember right if I remember the video it's a funny story about this lighthouse so I bought the ticket last time to go up in the lighthouse and uh, I got the A7 III, A7S 3 I just got the camera, so I'm pretty babying it. You know, it's a very delicate yes. camera. And I'm not really great with heights or <laughs> sketchy stairways. So it doesn't look like awfully tall but when you're about halfway up the steps. Very narrow, it's like that black iron staircase. Very sketchy and I'm not looking at my steps, I'm looking at the camera as I'm walking up the steps. I get to the point where I kind of look down and I'm like, nope, I don't like this. <laughs> and I just like freeze, I'm like, uh. What do I do? So I ended up walking down backwards, down the stairs, just like inching, like, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. I not, was not a fan of it at all. <laughs> I put the camera in my bag, then I like gripping the railing as tight as I could, just started walking up the thing all the way to the top. And then we got to the top and I was just like, I gotta go back down this thing again. So, but yeah, this light tower here is, is, is pretty fun to go up to, go into if you're not afraid of heights and sketchy looking staircases. I imagine though that the staircase is fine, like a million people go through this thing a year or so. Well, we have, let's hold on tight. 
This place totally looks like an ocean. I've always thought Lake Superior is just bizarre because as far as you can see, it's just water. And the only times you really ever get this view is on the oceans and coastlines. But it is the second biggest lake in the world. Next to something that's not really a lake. The Caspian Sea is not really a lake, but as far as like a real lake is concerned, this is the biggest lake in the world, in my opinion. <laughs> Pretty cool though, huh? There's the... It's beautiful. Do you want a good, do you want a, you want a banger photo? I do, I want a banger photo. Give me a banger photo. Alright, go this way. Hey guys, I just want to take a quick second to thank today's sponsor of the video, and that is Cuts Clothing. Uh, by now, if you've been watching this channel, you'll notice I've been wearing a lot of Cuts Clothing hoodies, t-shirts. I mean, I pretty much own every color that they sell at this point. I'm a huge fan of these shirts. Uh, they're super comfortable. They don't wrinkle. They're lightweight. You can wear them casually. You can dress them up. You can pretty much wear these however you want to. Uh, these have been by far my favorite shirt I've ever worn. Cuts Clothing just introduced their new outerwear line and their new fit, the AO Joggers. Uh, they just sent me over these AO Joggers, so let's check these out real quick. So the AO Joggers are their new outerwear line. They are the new VersaNet material. Uh, and these things are a tapered leg. So they have a button top with an eye hook and they have kind of elastic sides, so they're super comfortable. And then they have elastics all the way down by the ankles. Uh, and these things are just super stretchy and they are lightweight. When I was wearing them earlier, I almost felt like I wasn't wearing pants. So. Uh, go check out the AO joggers. These things are incredible and I think you can wear these uh, dressed up because they kind of look like slacks but you can also just casually wear them as joggers too. So all right you guys so I'll leave a link down below for Cuts Clothing. Uh, if you go check them out you'll actually save 15% using my link and you can get any of their outerwear, their joggers, the shirts, you name it anything on their site you'll save 15%. So thanks again Cuts Clothing for sponsoring this video. So we're in Golden Hour right now and we're about five minutes away from that sun going below the like hill so we really got to hurry and get down to the bottom of the shore so we can get the lighthouse from the bottom which is a really cool shot. How do you think these photos are going to look? Uh, better than mine. Not, not mine. <laughs> Just, <kidding. laughs> Just in general the A7S3 photos. Uh, the A7S3 photos are fantastic. I, I, I think they're even going to look better at nighttime too but I think uh, this camera is more than enough for most people. 12 megapixels is all you really need. Yeah, so I've, I've definitely printed these photos before off this camera and I think they look great. Um, I'm doing bigger prints, no problem. They look they look sharp as can be. I think if you're printing like a billboard or something, you're gonna want something like an A7R4. As far as the average Joe goes. Yeah, as far as using anything for online, anything for printing photos that are, you know, 16, 24 inch photos, you're gonna be fine with this camera and it's gonna look great.
Family photo. So, lighthouse, what'd you think? Awesome. It was beautiful. Was it cool? Very it's a uh, brief, nice. brief lighting. The light's now below the hill, but we got about a half hour to get out here before it gets pitch black, so. Hey, what'd you think about this weekend? Uh, this weekend was pretty good. I think uh, I think we're gonna be doing some, I'd like to get a couple videos out this weekend. Definitely, I think we're gonna do a, like a photography video on the A7S III. Um, the weekend vlog would be really fun, but I feel like we missed so much of this weekend on video. <laughs> so, to start with, in case this ends up, what you missed on this weekend is that uh, Paul and Chelsea came in to Minnesota, uh, not announced to me, but to my wife, she knew about it. You guys surprised me. Um, I was leaving work and I needed to go to the urgent care because I had kind of a, a messed up toe. So I went to the urgent care. Then we went out to this kind of cool mini golf place. Um, I biffed it on one of the, the attractions there. I tripped over something, so I fell again. Uh, and then on the way home, we had like a flat tire. That was a real interesting thing. Uh, the next day, Chelsea got like a food bug, so she got sick for like the whole day. We went to the urgent care again, different person this time. Um, and we spent most of the day just kind of hanging around the house yesterday. Me and Paul Quick stopped over at the Mall of America. Once again, didn't have video of that because we didn't bring cameras with. Uh, today we got a late start, so we got up here kind of late. Now it's getting dark really quick, so we got to only experience a couple things out of the few things we wanted to do. Um, what else did we get? Oh, we kind of got a little uh, pulled over by the cops on the way out here, got a warning. But uh, a lot of things kind of like feels like a Ben Stiller movie this weekend where it just keeps getting worse and worse. Hopefully these photos that we took today are going to be like the payoff to it all and it's going to be all worth it. So uh, we still have to get back home, which is, you know, fingers crossed. And get some food. Yeah, we're going to go get some food. I don't know if we're going to stop at Betty's Pies, which is like the local thing around here, or we're just going to go to like a restaurant maybe. Uh, but we got to get out of here. We're losing light quickly. Uh, as you can see, this environment is incredibly challenging to walk on as it is in the light. So uh, I think we should definitely make sure we get there while we still have some light. So you guys oh. hungry? You want some food? You want some pies? I want some real dinner. Some real dinner? Some wild real. rice soup. Din din? Where's wild rice soup? That's what I'm craving right now. Oh, okay. Really? I'm oh, craving cold water. I'm just, I'm, yeah. I know. There's glacier it's water. ice cold. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Do we want to go get like, like a, go to a, like a restaurant somewhere? Sure. I don't know where there's one running, but we can find something. Yep. We're not picky. You're picky. No, so. I just want to be in the back. Not us. I think I might do like a. Okay, so we found this place called Silos. Silos Restaurant in Duluth, right down by the pier and the like the big white uh, lift bridge. <laughs> Booth. That's Boost water it up. right there. <laughs> so we ordered these cheese curds. And Minnesota, if you don't know what cheese curds are, they're like deep fried chunks of cheese and they're awesome. We got these cheese curds and they're they're straight up square. Like they put them in like a ice cube tray and deep fry them. Oh, they're good. They're good. I like them. They're good. 